Hello Richard, my name is Lee Dara, I'm from Room 205. So today we are having an online presentation and the topic for today I'm going to talk about open for business that I'm going to answer three questions from the assignment project. The first question is, is it a good idea to have a meeting every week and what is the question for an effective meeting? For me, I think it's a good idea to have a meeting every week because meeting is can help. People also do something can be well and it's great to make a team member to get a high standard and also can make people more effective about conversation when they are in a meeting too. And I have five reasons to support my idea. For the first reason is can make a good relationship. It means that you can make a friendship with your member team when you have a meeting with them. If you are a CEO or business owner, you will have some experience from your member team and how communicate well with each other. The second reason is can increase in engagement and collaboration. The reason is can have your Meeting two weeks years ago, when you have some problem or something that is impossible in your teamwork, you can discuss the meeting with your member team. Because it's very important when you have a meeting with them, it can help you to solve any problem and can create a new idea with innovative solution. Or if you ask a manager, you should have a meeting every week because it is a good way to know the skill level of each employee in your company and also can provide your teamwork with confidence and have time for member to advise on innovative and collaboration. And the third reason is can exchange ideas with each other. It means that you can get some new idea with solution when you have a meeting every week. If you have an employee, you can get something new feedback from the other employees and from your manager also. So yeah, you can get new sharing of best practice, can get a lot of ideas to improve your skill, can benefit you know from sharing ideas with others, and you will have more ideas as a basic for discussing in your teamwork. And the fourth reason is can get inspiration. Because inspiration is a great way to build unity in meeting and express idea and can get more information that come from team meeting. This means that the member could revise each other idea and ultimately come up with the best solution. This is a great advantage on meeting. And the last reason is creating opportunity for communication. Because communication is the key to make your meeting two weeks years ago. If you have a really meeting, you will have an opportunity to communicate with your team member. And you, can, uh, and you can get a lot of ideas from your member as well. It can be one your teamwork can be effective and encourage people to share about their opinion. And it's a great way to make a team member to learn from each other and encourage thinking. And also I have uh, two tips, two suggestions for an effective meeting. Tip number one is uh, plan your agenda. If you don't have a plan, uh, you're wasting your time on meeting. And your meeting won't be effective, so make sure that you have to plan for your agenda. Because agenda is a list of topics or activities you want to cover during your meeting and it's important in your meeting. If you are a CEO or business owner, you will have quite a bit of meeting uh, uh, with your team so you should make plan for your agenda. It can have your meeting run smoothly and outline issues to be discussed. Also, you have to plan for your agenda before meeting because it can have your meeting more effective and your meeting plan should include purpose, time, process and you must see the agenda and you must send the agenda, the agenda to participate a few days uh, in advance to and about them to prepare. Tip number two is keep meeting short. For the reason you have to keep your meeting to 30 minutes or shorter is better because people can pay attention for approximately 30 to 45 minutes before they begin to feel bored, which means if you limit your meeting to this amount of time, you will get the maximum attention and productivity from your team. But if you spend too much time, on your meeting, people will lose attention and qualities of meeting is quickly deteriorated. This is a good way to make an effective meeting. And the second question is, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using social media for the winning marketing what, and what is the most effective way to promote the product? Social media marketing is an online platform that people can share pictures, video, information, and it's become an integral part of our life. There are many people using the advertising option provided by the social platform like Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Social media marketing can provide opportunities to take advantages and disadvantages of social media platform to advertise it or to market the company products and services. And for the advantage of using social media for doing the marketing is get better exposure. This is an opportunity to create interesting and engaging content on a product and services from social media. There are many people using on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For Facebook has over 2 billion users, Instagram has over 1 billion users, and Twitter has over 350 million users. 
so we can show our products and so YC to get the attention of the customer on the social network. This is a great way to market our products and services that we target for our business from earn a special point of view by incorporation so some media marketing strategy. And this is kind of one tech is increase market awareness. For a business to be a successful, the business owner must understand the demand, supply and idea of the customer. Doing the marketing on social media can provide us to know the customer services and can make a lot of money for doing a business on social media. Also can increase customer uh, you know, uh, visibility for your business and quality of your product is better than before. And the last advantage is cost effective. So some media marketing is possibly the most cost efficient part of advertising strategy. Being cost effective is such an advantage because you can see a greater return on investment and retain a bigger market for our uh, for other marketing and business expenses. And for this advantage of using social media for doing the marketing is risk of receiving negative feedback from the customer. Using social media for doing the marketing is always risk of getting negative customer and responses because it is important or uh, impossible sorry. It is impossible to satisfy to all the customer. In the case of social media, each negative review becomes visible to all your subscribers, include your current and potential customer. And the competitors can easily copy your strategy also. And it's my opinion, the best way to promote the product on social media is must be creative on the product and make it interesting. After that, take a picture and make a content video that talk about the products and services and upload on the social media and also include link on your post in social media. So the viewer can see more information and it's earn easier for viewer to browse and shop your products also. And the last question is how you ever thought about starting your own business and what are the advantages and advantages of using social uh, of running sorry of running your own company. Uh, for me yes I have a thought about starting my own business. In the future, if I have time for doing a business, I will going to start my own business. It's kind of a real estate for uh, a real estate business for development. And the name of my company is called uh, Microgis that my services for the customer are land, mansion, garden community and also investment. And the best location that I will choose for my own business is in Banabong Brewing, Banabong District. And my potential customer is would be uh, an entrepreneur and university student that they are between 21 to 90 and I need 20000 dollars to start up my own business and I will spend it on the employees, investment, electricity and Facebook pay and the income that I hope earn on the first year is maybe uh, $300,000 and for the first five years is over $100,000 and for the advantage of running my own company is I will get a lot of money, lifestyle independent with personal satisfaction and financial reward. And for this advantage of using of my own company is I don't have my time for my family. I will get financial risk and complexity in the future and liability. That's all for my presentation. Thank you Richard. Thank you for your listening.